Okay, so looking at all the sewing groups on Facebook and seeing that how many people really do not understand needles for their sewing machine. Somebody on a group will come and ask them, what, 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 what needle do you suggest I use? And all of a sudden you'll get all these answers. Oh, I use a 7511, I use 8012, I use this and that. And there's never any questions like, well, what fabric are you sewing on? Um, what type of fabric, you know, what type of thread, this and that. There are three major companies that everyone always goes to for needles. And one is Oregon, as you can see here. The other one is Class A. And the third one is Schmetz. Now, let's start with the easiest. We're going to go to Class A first. Now, you can find Class A needles at any of your sewing machine dealers across the country. This is a very popular brand of needle. And you visit these websites of the needle companies, and they will educate you and help you. Look at this background of all their needles, and look at how they, they name their needles, what they are. They tell you what they are. So let's go over here to education, choosing the right needle. Let's look here. This is a whole brand new website. I haven't seen this one before. They had a different one before this. So let's just scroll down and look. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so here we have all the different needles they have here. Okay. They list all the different needles, and they're going to tell you. Let's click on one. Universal needle tells you all about it there. All right. Now let's see. There's there's a, I think there's let's see if there's a, here under products. Let's go to needles again. You know, here we go. Okay, so here here we can look at this. All right. So anti glue, ballpoint, embroidery, jeans, leather, metallic, quilting, serger, sharps, stretch, top stitch, twin, universal. Hem stitch. Who knew there were so many needles, right? Well, every needle is designed to do something different for the type of material or the thread you're using. For example, anti-glue. Let's look, let's look at this anti-glue, for example. Uh, they're made with a specialized coating that cuts through residues. Are perfect for working with adhesive sprays and backings. They're made with a specialized coating that cuts through re residues. And available in sizes 7511 and 9014. Okay, so that must be when you're embroidering, perhaps. So this is something that doesn't say, like, what type of fabrics, though. It just says the adhesive backings. So I would say adhesive backings. What are adhesive backings used mostly for? When you're embroidering, you're floating your fabric on in the embroidery hoop. All right, so let's go to the next one. Ballpoint. We look at ballpoint here. And ballpoint needles are perfect for, for sewing knit fabrics. And they're available in an assortment pack, with, which includes all these sizes here. And there's a picture here. See, they come in a pack like this. And it comes in these different sizes for ballpoint. Now, I'm, I'm going to think that they're doing it this way because there's different types of knits. And if you just buy one size and it doesn't work, you can try a, a, a thicker size. And you don't have to keep running back to the store for another uh, pack of a bigger pack for a bigger size. Here, embroidery. We'll go to the embroidery next. Embroidery. So it says here, uh, needles are ideal to use with rayon, polyester, cotton, or acrylic embroidery thread, available in size, blah, 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 blah. Now, see, here's what we talk about when, I, when people on the group say, oh, I use an 8012, or I use a 7511. Okay, but because somebody will say, what kind of needle do I use for my machine? Well, they don't know what you're doing. And then somebody might say, well, when I embroider, I'm using embroidery size 7511. Okay, and that clarifies it to the person. Because not everyone is doing the same type of project on every machine. Um, I may be sewing a, a men's shirt and using shirt fabric. And I might be brand new to sewing. And I'm being self-taught right now. And I've never had lessons. And I've never studied. I don't know these things. So this is a reason why 
when when, when um, veterans are giving answers to newbies, this will really help them. It will help them to understand, oh, okay, and this is why I'm doing this video is because I see so much misinformation being done out there. And then there's moderators that will come on. When you tell people, you say, hey, go and Google this. Go and look it up in your instruction manual. Go to YouTube. And then you'll have moderators that will come on and say, we do not send people to Google. We do not send... Well, okay, well, all right. So why not show people where to go to find the information to help them? And that's what I don't understand. So here, I, that's what spawned me to do this video, to show people needles and understanding the types of needles. So when a newbie says, what kind of needle do I use for my shirt fabric I'm making? I don't understand. Somebody can come on and tell them, hey, you need a ballpoint size 7511 or whatever. Because they know. So here's all these other needles. Even a surgery needle. Look at this. Surgery needle. Special. Um, now, years ago, I want to point out something about needles. Years ago, the Baby Lock brand surgeon has a specific system of a needle for their surgeries. That was many, many years ago. Today, they take a standard home sewing machine needle. Now, I have a Singer serger that where the front part opens up where the top looper is, that machine takes a specific system of a needle. It doesn't take a standard home needle. It needs, it needs a specific system. So, um, on your on your needles, you'll see you'll see now, the, now this is C16 by 234 or 231 by DB by one. This is the system. You see where my arrow is on the on the computer screen. This is a system right here. That's what a system means. Now, the old class A um, covers did not show that. Let me see if all these do now. No, this one doesn't. This one doesn't. Whereas the Schmetz show the system, and we'll be getting to the Schmetz website soon, and you'll be able to see the system number on their needles that actually show you what the system is. A system is the, how do I explain it? You have industrial machines, you have domestic machines, and they take a certain system of a number, and I'll explain it to you later. All right. So here we go. So this is all these, you can read about all these. This is great. This is really great. Now let's go to Schmetz. Okay, so here's Schmetz. And see, Schmetz, you can see they sell needles in quantity. If you're doing a lot of sewing, you can buy quantity in these big packs. Uh, here we go here. Uh, they show you what you can pick up at your local sewing retailer where they sell sewing machines and notions and all that. But here's what I want to point out to you here. Um, you see Learning Center right here, Learning Center. All about needles. And they also have, see, they have industrial. They have online sewing needle videos. That would be interesting to see, right? Let's start with all about needles, though. Okay. So here it says uh, all about needles. They have numerous educational files available to help answer your needle questions. Some of the same materials, same materials available as a downloadable PDF. All right. So this explains all this information here. Let's see. This is, this is great. This is great. Now, here's a Schmetz household needle chart. There's just so much information here. This is wonderful. All right, so let's find that. Let's find a picture. Let's go to the front page again. I have a picture here. I'm going to blow this one up. Blow this up here. Let's see if these have. All right, these don't have the system number on them like they should. I'll have to show you on a separate photo. Let's see if this one does. Here we go. All right. You see, 130 slash 705 H. This one here, same thing, 
130-705-H. That's the system of a domestic home, home sewing machine. So if people are wondering what kind of needle do you use, remember this, 130-705-H. That's the standard industry number for a domestic sewing machine system. And I don't want you to get this confused when I say type. Because like right here, this says 10 universal needles. Universal is the type. Sometimes the type of needle that we talk about is also referred to this, but what we really mean is what system is the needle. Okay, I hope that helps on you. I hope that helps you understand that. All right, so let's go back to Education Center. Let's go back to Education, Learning Center, all about needles. And here's Schmetz Household Needle Chart. So here they have their versions. Universal, it comes in these numbers. Now you've got 60 slash 8. What that means is the way I was trained years ago, the first two numbers indicate the European and past the, the forward slash, that's the, the American number. So 60 slash 8. 60 is the European slash 8 is the American number. That's the way I was trained. Now Universal explains that it has a slightly round point and the fabric use is numerous which includes, includes woven and knits. A general, a great general purpose needle. Then you have the jersey which is a ballpoint and medium ballpoint knits and more stretch fabrics made especially for sewing on knits. And then we have stretch. Well, what's the difference between stretch and jersey, right? So stretch is for an elastic material and high elastic knitwear. You have jeans, Microtex. Microtex needle is great for microfibers, but made from polyester, silk, foils, artificial leather, coated materials. You have metallic, which is great for metallic and specialty threads. Embroidery. Most of you are using embroidery needles because you're sewing um, with embroidery machines. Uh, quilting. Here's, here's one for you quilters who, who are going through multiple layers. This is made especially for piecing and machine quilting. A special taper design allows easier fabric penetration and helps eliminate skip stitches. Then you have a top stitch needle. A gold embroidery needle. Cor this is for coarse and densely woven materials. It has a slightly rounded point and enlarged eye are perfect for embroidery most fabrics and with the most fragile specialty threads. Then you have a leather needle. Then you have a hem stitch needle. This is for when you're doing um, heirloom sewing. You get those stitches with the holes in them. Quick threading needle for people who have problems threading. A double eye needle. So there's all these different needles here. Now, you can see how much easier Schmetz and Class A website is to understand this rather than asking somebody that can't give you the full answer online on these sewing groups. Now you'll get a full education here and understand what needle you need. So here's one other thing I want to explain though. Let's go right to here like this. This one comes in these different sizes. 7010, 8012, 9014. The size needle is dependent upon the thickness of your fabric, the density of the fabric, if it's a fine fabric, remember the finer fabric, the lower the number. Okay, like 7010 for fine fabric. And then the type of thread you're using too. The thicker the thread, the higher the needle. Now, the higher the needle also should be also for thicker threads, you should be going with like top stitching threads. Or stop, I'm sorry, top stitching needle. Like here, you see the eyes of the needles. If you're using a thicker thread, you definitely want to go with a thicker needle. Now let's see, let's look at leather. Leather has a pretty wide um, hole in it. Now a lot of sewing machines can use thicker threads like um, nylon threads, for example. Um, bonded nylon, possibly up to a size 69 some machines will be able to use. So you would use like the leather needle with that. All right, now let's go to the organ page. This is where you're going to see how difficult it is. Now, a lot of sewing machines come with organ needles. People have no idea. Just they always see is a number on there. So here's where you're going to be able to look at everything. 
right. Now this Oregon Needle Company website is not very user friendly for a domestic home sewing machine user like the Class A in Schmetzberg, but I'll help walk you through a little bit here. So we're going to go for product information, sewing machine needles. Okay. Scroll down here and download catalog is down here and sewing machine needles right here. All right, back to download catalog. And it takes us this, takes us again to sewing machine needles. Okay, let's do it again. Now they got all these PDF downloads. All right, so for example, let's go to ballpoint series. Here's the PDF brochure for ballpoint needles. Ballpoint series. So the question is, here you go. It doesn't say ballpoint on the packaging. It just says DP by 134 and the size 65 slash 9J, 75 slash 11Q. DB by one, ballpoints could be supplied on all organ needles. Please contact our representative. See, you don't have, let's get out of this. I think I went to the wrong one here. Let's see here. Well, those were sewing machine needles. Let's go to ballpoint series again. Let me look here. Do you know what ballpoint is? Do you know how this small spherical point produces an extremely different effect? Now it does show you, you know, image of ballpoint function, uh, large U ball, Y ball, slim point S, but Oh, all right, let's go. Let's get back out of this again. Let's go to sewing machine catalog brochure. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, here we go. R, T R I S P I H P. You see how this is not as easy for a home sewer to tell somebody what type of needle to use. And that's why home sewers just give the number of needle there. Oh, I'll use a 7511, you know, because um, they don't know what type of needle. Like, is it a ballpoint? Is it a, uh, is it a top stitch? What is it? So I just want to show you this. So you can go through this and study this on your own. Since many of you are using organ and you like organ, um, you can study this and figure out what type of needle you are using. Now, unlike class A, where you go and you look at their packaging and it says leather needle, these are the sizes. You buy a quilting needle and the package says quilting. And then it has the sizes, 7511. You see, there's six 7511 quilting needles in that package. See how much easier that is? So much easier. And same with Schmetz. You go to a Schmetz. You see all these packages on Schmetz? Gold, twin, quilting needle, embroidery needle right here. It's got the, the um, sizes on there. So you see how much easier it is for Schmetz and Class A for people? And for a newbie, if you try and tell a newbie to look at an organ needle, it's confusing as hell. I mean, it's even confusing for me. I have to, I have to really study this and look. You see? And then when you find out what type of needle it is that you have on your, on your organ needle, write it on the, on the uh, envelope. Is this an embroidery? Write it if it's for embroidery, if it's for top stitching, because it doesn't say embroidery or top stitching on a domestic organ needle package. It just has the numbers. Okay. All right. So I hope this helps you. And uh, it's, you understand now. And when people will say, hey, visit the website of the company, Google, you know, go to YouTube, 
like, oh, what, there's a YouTube. Oh, wait, this, this is uh, Schmetz. And right here it says, they're on YouTube. Let's look at YouTube. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of videos on needles here. You see how easy it is to look at this stuff? So when someone tells somebody in a sewing group, uh, we're here to help people. Stop telling them to look at their instruction manual. Stop telling them to, to Google it, to do this, to do that. Well, how do you expect somebody to learn if you're saying things like that? Okay? So very important. Very, very important. Show them where the education is. Show them where the education is so they understand. So they get proper knowledge, proper education. All right? Okay, where else was I? Okay, so that's there. Let's go to Class A. Let's go home on Class A at the top. Let's see if, let's see if Class A has uh, links to YouTube. Um, I got a Facebook page, but I don't see anything for YouTube. Now, here's another reason why it's so good to use a regular computer when you're looking for education. Because so many of you are on uh, tablets or looking on your cell phones, and you're not getting the full pages to look at like this. You know, very, very important. Here, Class A, like they have their brand story. You know, this they, they'll tell you. They'll tell you about their company. You know, it's nice to, to see this kind of stuff. Education, choosing the right needle. What does it say? Let's see, choosing the right needle, needle basics. See, domestic sewing machines today basically use the one needle system, like I was saying. 705 slash 130H, HAX1, and 15 by 1. If you see these numbers on the package of the sewing machine needle, that means it's for your domestic machine. Okay, can you all see that right here? On, all right, right there. But they are available in a large variety of sizes and point styles. Okay? So what you'll see mostly on, like, the organ brand, you'll see this system number, which means it's for domestic machine. They'll not have a couple other numbers next to it, but you don't know what those numbers are. And you're like, well, what type of needle it is? Just like this one says here, varieties of sizes and point styles, or otherwise known as type of needle. It's the size and the type of needle. Now, the so machine needles come in sizes ranging from metric size 60 to 120. Imperial size is 8 to 20. Metric, European, Imperial, USA. Okay? Does that help you all more? Now you understand. I hope this helped you guys. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, take this for what it's worth, and um, this will give you success with your sewing machine, especially if you're a newbie, especially if you're a newbie. Okay, guys, have a good, um, good read, good study, and stay safe. Stay safe, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.